Thank you, Victoria. Well, earlier we brought you a story about a mother facing child abandonment charges for leaving eight kids home alone while she went out drinking. Mission Police say a teacher found the children in deplorable conditions ranging in ages one to seven. Now, Child Protective Child Protective Services has now taken custody of those children. And of course, unfortunately, this sort of case is all too familiar here in the Valley. But what happens to these children now? Here to better explain that process is Claudia Canales Esquivel. She is the Adoption Preparation Unit Supervisor. Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning. Thank you, Claudia, for being with us. And of course, we saw this story about this woman. And you're very familiar with cases like this. Tell us more. What happens to these children? Um, unfortunately, it's stories that we hear very often. Uh, basically, now that we are involved, what happens is that we have to work with the family to try to get family reunification. We have to provide services that will alleviate uh, any of the issues that cause the children to be in a state of abuse or neglect. Mm -hmm. um, we also look at possible relatives or close friends of the family that can care for those children while the parents work on resolving those issues. You definitely want to keep the children at home. I mean, that's obviously your objective. You don't want to take Correct. them away. Um, but you said that oftentimes they get to go back home after a certain amount of time and after there's been more, I guess, checking into the whole situation is done. Right, we do have a lot of successful stories where the parents are able to work out the services and able to change the environment or any of the issues that cause the children to come under our care. So uh, that is always our number one priority, family reunification, get the children back together. And sometimes that doesn't happen. And unfortunately, that's where you come in and the adoption process begins. Uh, tell us about the children. I think more than 6,000 children are up for adoption here in the state of Texas alone. Tell us about that. Um, correct. Um, basically, uh, once the courts become involved and we're involved and the children are removed from the care of the parents, um, legally they have about a year to work on the services and get that family reunification achieved. Um, and there are times where they might need a little bit more time and so the court can grant an extension of six more months. Unfortunately, sometimes uh, the families for one reason or the other are not able to make those necessary changes to ensure the safety of their children. Right. And so at that point, we have to look out for the permanency of the children, they cannot remain under our care forever. They need a family to grow in and to bond with. And so those are the times where the decision has to be made to seek termination of parental rights. Mm -hmm. And so when that happens, that's how our children become eligible for adoption. Absolutely. And we're seeing some of the photos here, some of the children that are up for adoption. And, and we often see that a lot of the smaller children, the younger children, the infants get adopted. But of course, the older children also need a home. Correct. Uh, for the most part, a lot of the people that come in, they're interested in adopting. They're always seeking the younger children or the babies. The reason that we get a lot and we hear a lot from these families is that they feel that a baby or a younger child is easier to adapt to the new family and to the environment. But um, I can tell you, the older children are able to adapt just as well, and they also want that family, and they also need that bond and that sense of belonging. Absolutely. So. And tonight you're going to have a meeting, actually, to better understand what are the requirements and more information about adoption. Yes, basically the, the first step of anybody that's interested in uh, becoming an adoptive parent or a foster family, the first step is to attend an information meeting. Okay. And so, correct, it's tonight at 6, and it's at South Texas College in Westlaco. All right, Claudia, we'll stay with us because we have a lot more to talk about regarding adoption. In the meantime, let's send it over to Victoria.